Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the lovely, the amazing Jeremy Monreal! Let's clear the air. I'm not Jesus. <laughs> Can't do any fun tricks, can't turn water into wine. <laughs> Best thing I can't do is turn wine into a series of life-altering mistakes. <laughs> I don't need you guys waiting for me to exit my apartment on saying uh, sun on Sunday saying, Dios prison! <laughs> you think I wouldn't have to say this, but it has really ruined my social life and my dating life. I don't know if the girls I'm dating Girls. I don't know if the archive of women that I'm dating at the current moment. <laughs> Hello, Katie. <laughs> That's my girlfriend. <laughs> I don't know if the girls that I've dated are dating me because they like me or just because they want to be saved. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but Jesus struggled. <laughs> I've never struggled. <laughs> so I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I may never be Jesus. <laughs> That's something we're all going to have to live with, okay? It may not be in the cards for me, but I mean, I'm worried enough as it is that I'm not going to make it in life because I haven't struggled whatsoever. I haven't even been in a fight. And I lived in Albuquerque, New Mexico. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I saw two people get in a fight because they were just trying to understand one another. <laughs> hey, what'd you say? What? What did you say to me? Hey, what are you trying to say? And then they knocked each other out. <laughs> it was wild. <laughs> people take fighting so seriously down there. They they plan fights like dates. <laughs> they go, over, oh, you want to go? Let's go. They name a place and time, fool. Well, park at five, I'm there, fool. Can you, like, give me a ride? <laughs> Thank you, fool. <laughs> like, what are you going to wear, though? Because I don't want to be too matchy-matchy. You know? <laughs> oh, a blue double XL with a tiny neck hole? Oh, that's not my entire wardrobe. Whatever, fool. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Pick me up at 445, fool. I'll be the one holding the red rose so you know it's me. <laughs> if you don't mind, there's a guy that planned to fight for an entire week. An entire week and told every person that he told about the fight, he said, I'm going to headbutt that dude. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a very ambitious thing to tell people for an entire week. How do you get that reach? How do you know you're going to get that reach? <laughs> And he did. <laughs> Immediately after the fight, he was voted class president. <laughs> it almost happened for me one time. I almost got in a fight. Uh, some guys came up to me and a group of friends, and they're like, you better get up, because we're going to be all you. We're going to be all you up right now. Get up, get up. Jeremy, you're cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> So I did what any man would do in that scenario. I, I stood up and watched my friends get a knife. <laughs> I mean, they said I was cool, and I couldn't see over the crowd. I'm telling you, I never struggled. Uh, do you know how embarrassing it is to be an artist and have two loving and supportive parents? <laughs> I, I had to draw inspiration from random things, like hating myself, which I'm crushing. <laughs> You know how people buy themselves fancy things and like nice dinners, they're like, you deserve it. <laughs> I put myself in terrible situations and diminish my self-worth and say, you deserve it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, you're not supposed to laugh at your own set, but I love this shit. <laughs> Dying for it. Uh, no, yeah, but I mean, my entire life, friends, family, girlfriends, all loved me unconditionally. And it was a nightmare. And it's, <laughs> it's a nightmare. 
Uh, I grew up in a household with six older siblings, which means I grew up way too fast. I was what's known as an early bloomer. Uh, if you guys don't know what that means, it means when I was a child, I used to hunt pillows. <laughs> and I know, I know, Jeremy, will you stop bragging already? <laughs> I'm not saying that to brag, okay? I'm saying it because this is apparently what I tell people on a daily basis. I said this once in a filmed interview. <laughs> Before it even started, I said, hey, sorry, this is going to be a really boring conversation. Sorry to waste your time. My bad. And he's like, no, don't even worry about it. You know, you're good, you're good. So how are you doing? I said, I used to hump pillows when I was a kid. <laughs> Thank you for asking. <laughs> And then I was like, oh, luckily this is not going to go anywhere like every project that I held dear to my heart. And he said, it'll be on Netflix in February. <laughs> so you can catch me on Netflix. <laughs> I, told, I told my mom about this because I had mixed emotions about it. And you know what her response was? She said, well, <laughs> that's what you get for opening your mouth. <laughs> And I said, what did you say to me? And then she said, wait, what are you trying to say? And then we knocked each other the hell out. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you.